Deke Prince George and Princess Charlotte's school becomes the latest to send pupils home for coronavirus isolation, as offices are closed and sports fixtures cancelled amid confusion over spread of deadly disease from Europe. Prince George and Princess Charlotte's school has become the latest to send pupils home for coronavirus isolation as offices across the UK are closed as fears mount over the virus. Coronavirus chaos and confusion is gripping almost every part of British life today as schools defied the government and closed, big businesses shut down and major sporting events were postponed because of the explosion of new cases in Europe. Four pupils at the Thomas's Battersea School in southwest London have been sent home and are awaiting test results, it was reported this evening. It comes as at least 13 schools across the UK closed their doors over fears of the virus spreading. Fears are intensifying over the spread of the killer virus because 12 people have died in Italy since Friday, while France reported another fatality today and Greece and North Macedonia became the latest countries to record cases as the infection toll on the continent surpassed 400, reaching 458. Ireland's rugby match against Italy on Saturday was postponed today amid fears Italian fans could bring the virus to Dublin. But England's Six Nations fixture in Rome on March 14 is still going ahead. England's FA is holding urgent talks today about whether it is safe to host Italy's football team for a Wembley friendly on March 27. With no restrictions on travel, it raises the prospect of tens of thousands of sports fans and tourists traveling between the UK and Europe's coronavirus epicenter Italy. Ten countries, including Brazil and Algeria, have already confirmed cases of COVID-19 from travellers who returned home from Italy. Children at the school in southwest London had recently been on a trip to northern Italy. Two children returned from the trip after displaying flu-like symptoms. The school's website says that it runs a trip to Italy every two years. This evening, Spanish newspaper El Confidential published a statement from the school. Like all schools, we are taking very seriously the potential risks related to the spread of COVID-19 and to this end we are following the government's instructions to the letter on infection prevention and case management in which it is suspected that some staff member or students exposed to the virus or showing any symptoms. We currently have a very small number of students who have been evaluated and these individuals currently remain in their homes waiting to receive the results of their exams. It added that all parents had been informed and that information was being circulated regularly. The school also said that it would preserve the confidentiality of staff and students and would not comment on specific cases. The global crisis is expected to continue through 2020 and millions of Britons with foreign holidays booked over the Easter break in April fear they will be unable to travel if it continues to spread at an extraordinary rate. More than 160 British guests are already trapped in quarantine in a Tenerife hotel for the next two weeks after an Italian doctor staying there fell ill in today jet two suspended bookings to the Canary Islands Hotel because of the outbreak. Public Health England today refused to rule out the possibility of shutting down entire towns, communities and public transport if a coronavirus outbreak takes hold in the UK. Only 13 cases have been confirmed on British soil currently. All of them have been linked to the Far East and nobody has caught the illness in the UK- but health chiefs have warned the public to expect more. A China-style shutdown would force tens of millions to stay at home, including essential health workers such as doctors, nurses and pharmacists. England's chief medical officer Professor Chris Whitty said, There's no secret there's a variety of things you need to look at, you look at things like school closures, you look at things like reducing transport. U.S. oil company Chevron has sent home around 300 British staff from his London HQ after a worker came down with flu-like symptoms after a foreign trip. Other companies based in the U.K. are also scrambling to find out if any of their staff could be carrying coronavirus with the 350,000 Britons estimated to have travelled to Italy and France alone over half-term. This is why a one-office building in Fitrovia, London. This afternoon also confirmed that it would be closed until Monday after an employee was being tested for the virus after travelling from Australia to the UK via Singapore. OMD UK is part of Omnicom Media Group, OMG, and a spokesperson for the firm said the employee in question had been on business in Australia.
the worker had stopped off in Singapore which so far has recorded 91 cases of the virus. As of today there had been 15 confirmed cases of coronavirus in Australia, which is where the worker had initially travelled from. As a precaution the company has asked all staff to work from home. Speaking to the Mail Online a spokesperson said, earlier today, we became aware of an employee showing flu-like symptoms, who had returned a few days ago from a trip to Australia with a flight connection through Singapore. As a precautionary measure, and until definitive results of the employee's coronavirus test is confirmed, we are asking OMG employees at our Fitzrovia offices to immediately work from home. OMG UK employees have been informed that, whilst the risk of the test being positive is minimal, every precaution is being taken to protect their health and well-being. We will continue to monitor the situation and follow the guidance provided from the government and expect to reopen these offices on Monday pending the results. People wearing hazmat suits were seen just a few streets away from the OMD building on Cleveland Street. An ambulance was parked on the street and two officers dressed in protective clothing and masks were seen knocking at the door of a property. It is not yet known whether or not this incident is related to the employee being tested at OMD. More than 30 UK schools whose students and teachers travelled to Italy on ski trips over half-term last week have shut down or sent people home, despite Health Secretary Matt Hancock telling head teachers to remain open. But Mr Hancock told the Commons this afternoon that British workers told to self-isolate by a doctor must be allowed to stay at home for a fortnight with paid sick leave, even if they are not showing symptoms, and must avoid contact with anyone in their home. He also said the NHS is looking to extend home testing for coronavirus, while a new public information campaign will be launched where Britain's 66 million inhabitants will be reminded to wash their hands and throw tissues in the bin after a use. A Nottinghamshire police officer has been taken off duty today and advised to stay at home as a precaution amid coronavirus fears after he reported feeling unwell while on duty following a recent trip to northern Italy. Britain's tourism industry also appears to be suffering with the streets of Cambridge deserted today when they would usually be packed with thousands drawn to the city from abroad by its world-famous university and thriving high-tech firms. As Britain prepares itself for coronavirus cases to surge, it has also emerged. Figures from the World Health Organization WHO, today show there were 427 new cases reported in 37 countries on Tuesday compared with 411 reported by Beijing. This was the first time ever that more cases were confirmed outside of China than within it. And authorities in Italy have reported that the number of people infected in the country has risen to 458 and 12 people have now died. Austria, Croatia and Switzerland also reported their first cases linked to the outbreak in Italy, while Spain and France recorded new ones, also involving people who had been to northern Italy. France recorded its second death today, a 60-year-old Frenchman who died in a Paris hospital. The first positive test in South America has also been recorded in a 61-year-old Brazilian man who had recently been to northern Italy. UK Health Secretary Matt Hancock told MPs this afternoon that 7,132 people in the UK have so far been tested. Of these, 13 have tested positive, of whom 8 have been discharged from hospital. He said the NHS is looking to extend home testing while a new public information campaign will be launched. Speaking in the Commons, Mr Hancock suggested that home testing will be rolled out more widely to complement existing hospital testing and the isolation pods which have been cited at hospitals in England for people who turn up at A&D with symptoms. He said, we now have testing sites at all A&E facilities, as far as we know, across England. But we're also planning to introduce home testing and some of this has started already so that people don't have to go to the pods in front of A&E which have been put there to ensure that people don't actually go into A&E where they might infect others. Home testing is the safest place to be tested because then you don't have to go anywhere, and that will allow us to roll out testing to a much larger number of people as well. Mr Hancock told the Commons medical advice on self-isolation should be considered sickness for employment purposes. He said, 
It's a very important message for employers and for those who can go home and self-isolate as if they were sick because it's for medical reasons. A number of schools in the UK have told staff and pupils to stay at home after returning from the ski trips to northern Italy, where several towns in the Lombardy and Veneto regions remain on lockdown. At least 14 schools have closed in coronavirus scares, but Mr Hancock urged schools not to close unless they had a confirmed case of the virus. He said in Parliament today, there is no need to close the school or send other students or staff home. The Foreign Office in the UK has updated its guidance on travel to Italy, advising against all but essential travel to 10 towns in Lombardy, Codogno, Costiglione d'Ada, Casal Pusterlingo, Fombio, Melio, Somiglia, Bertonico, Terranova de Passerini, Casteldrondo in San Fierano, and one in Veneto, Vouganio. Meanwhile, BBC Radio 4 presenter Nick Robinson has said he is in self-isolation at home after returning from a trip to Vietnam and Cambodia, where cases have been recorded. Channel 4 News presenter Jon Snow is also in self-isolation after traveling to Iran, where at least 12 people have died amid an outbreak there. In London, energy firm Chevron asked about 300 British employees to work temporarily from home after an employee in its Canary Wharf office reported a flu-like illness. A statement from the firm added, Chevron continues to monitor the situation very closely, utilizing the guidance of international and local health authorities. In other industries wedding dress manufacturers have warned that closures at factories in China due to the coronavirus outbreak could mean delays for British brides. The whole industry is suffering, according to one retailer, as the production of wholesale bridal gowns relies heavily on Chinese suppliers. An extended Lunar New Year break in a bid to curb the virus spreading saw factories closed for a prolonged period. Although many employees returned to work earlier this month, Shutdowns at lace mills and other fabric suppliers could also prompt the setback in production at factories in China. James Waddington, of bridal dress manufacturer Romantica of Devon, told the PA news agency that the average wedding dress has a 16-week lead time. Most of them are not made to measure, but that dress is made specifically in that size, color and length, for a specific bride, and that's the way the wholesale market operates, he said. That means it's virtually impossible to bulk on stock, because nobody really has stock. I've got about a thousand dresses in my warehouse, which might sound like a lot, but I've got 250,000 iterations of my product. So the chance of me being able to fulfill just one dress from my stock is pretty unlikely. If the Chinese government closes the factories down, if the factories don't get to reopen, what happens to our production? The problem is that our factory buys their lace from lace mills. My factory might guarantee me that it's going to reopen, but what happens if the lace mill doesn't reopen? He said the company had begun to ship half-finished dresses to the UK for them to be completed at local factories, due to potential for a lack of materials in China. China, where the outbreak began has reported 78,064 cases and 2,715 deaths while South Korea has the second-highest number of cases with 1,261 and 11 deaths. More than 30 schools around the country have been caught up in panic and confusion after children returned home from ski trips to Italy. But a school in Swansea is ignoring pleas from parents to shut down after a class returned from a ski trip to Italy with pupils told that they still have to come in unless they have the flu. Secondary School Cleve Park, in Sidcup Southeast London also remained open today despite some of its pupils and staff reporting feeling unwell after returning from a school ski trip to Bormio, in northern Italy on Saturday. The school has announced today that it has advised an unspecified number of pupils and staff to isolate themselves at home, but allow others from the trip attend. It said it decided not to close after following advice from Public Health England that the school should remain open and all students should attend if they are well. However, some parents are against the headmaster's decision. One father has chosen to keep his son at home until results come back negative. Head teachers have the final say on when schools close for health and safety reasons such as illnesses or bad weather.
The latest to shut their doors are Lyme Academy Water Gully in Breton, Peterborough and Shepstow Primary in Spalding. Ludden St. Nicholas and Jedney Church and Primary Schools in Lincolnshire also closed because of a potential connection to the coronavirus by an individual within the school. St. Christopher C. of E. High School in Accrington told parents it had to shut. A member of staff at William Martin Jr. and Infant School came back from a half-term holiday in Italy so was shut as a precaution today. Trinity Catholic College in Middlesbrough and Cransley School in Northage, Cheshire, shut completely on Tuesday so they can be deep cleaned. The Brian Lees Academy, also in Cheshire, shut its sixth form yesterday. St. Peter's Church of England Middle School in Windsor closed today for a precautionary clean after a pupil returned home from a trip to Italy during half-term. Archbishop Temple School in Preston closed and said in a notice on its website that it had an unavoidable closure because a ski trip had recently returned from Pila, Italy. And pupils and staff at 18 schools in Cornwall, Cheshire, Yorkshire, Berkshire, Pembrokeshire, Liverpool, London, Birmingham and Northern Ireland were sent home to quarantine themselves. Professor Paul Cosford, Medical Director for Public Health England, today admitted the government does not know how many Brits have come back from skiing trips to the north of Italy but said it was a significant number. Hundreds of cases of the virus have been diagnosed in northern Italy since Friday as dozens of school trips made their way home after half-term trips. Some head teachers have taken evasive action and shut down schools after staff and students came down with mild flu-like symptoms after returning from the Alps. Others have sent home the pupils and staff who went on the trips to Italy, where 11 towns are now in government lockdown.